way first. Um, you guys, have you seen this? I uh, was looking at the demo trying to, I was talking to Gregory on the side there and I wrote him saying, hey look, you know, I think they're going to have to do the demo at the basement level because they can't do any demolition above because it would be projectiles of the window glass would be a concern. And long mats hanging from uh, cranes, which, which they do have that stuff, but I don't think that's going to be mobilized. So I, I looked at the last hour, of, and this is just, I just pulled this up like two minutes ago. I only got this far into it. The plans for a controlled explosion to remove what was left of the damaged building came as anguished families continue to wait news. Um, officials stressed on Sunday, this is, a, this is a report from the New York Times, so I, I, don't, I don't have it one-to-one, -one, you know, not direct, but this is official stress on Sunday that the demolition was needed to restart rescue efforts. So it appears that they think someone can live 11 days without water um, in the bottom of this debris. Uh, th this is just crazy. That's just crazy. Listen, they're, 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 they're just destroying this building so they can just get on with, the, move on, move on with everything. You know, I, I uh, th this is ridiculous. So you're telling me they're going to do a controlled exp explosion here, implosion. So they are going to be not, not, they're not going to be rocking that building over then. They're going to try to pancake it straight down. That building has a lot of block walls, as I understand it, between there. That's going to be pretty damn tough for that building to want to go straight down. Especially with the lack of engagement and everything. I, I, this doesn't make sense. You can't, you can't put explosions on the upper floors because the glasses will project, you know, a trillion miles, right? And then, so you got to do it from the ground floor. You do it from the ground floor, you got that second floor that's going to drop down. That second floor is the one that's loaded with all that steel and beams. Loaded with all that steel and beams. The top floor is then... It's a random, you know, which way, you know. You, so so what? You blow them all at the same time and just say you may be, may be able to pulverize all of them. Say they're nine-foot columns in the basement and you're able to make them all fail at the same time, pulverize them. So now that means theoretically the building should just fall, drop straight down now. The release happened all at once of all the of the, that level. So the building drops down. It drops down to the second floor. Bam, those pads hit. The shockwave goes up the building and the reinforcement at the walls and floors uh, and columns aren't strong enough to take that shock load. It's going to go every which way. So I find this very peculiar to say the least. I, th I predict the demolition will, building, it will, it will intentionally go back towards the pile that I don't think any demolition companies that ballsy enough to say, we'll make it pancake straight down. So where do, where do those walls go? You need displacement. The walls will go out left and right. Well, the walls go out to the right back to, to, uh, towards the east. That puts it back on the pile. So what do you mean? You're going to be rest, you, you're adding more load on top of the pile, and at the rate you guys remove debris, these people would have to survive without water for 130 days or some I don't know. The rate they're moving that debris, 100 and they'll have to, they'll have to survive 40, what is that Bible thing? 40 days in the desert or whatever. I know they're Jewish people, and so uh, maybe that's the angle here. That that uh, I, uh, that's a bad bad thing. But you know that, that's craziness. It's a bad comment. I I just just find it that offensive. That they're going that they actually say to resume a rescue rec demolition to happen. So they can resume rescue efforts. This is just pure lunacy. Rescuers have not found a survivor since the sudden collapse on June 24. Yet relatives have waited nearby, listening closely to every every update. <sighs> Officials stressed on Sunday that the demolition was needed to restart rescue efforts and described their operation as one that would be con contained to a small footprint as possible. Bite me. Bite me on this one, guys. Them. This is this is one of my cursing efforts. Fuck off with that with this uh, with this narrative that they stated. I mean, people are wearing masks now and everything else, so they you can tell them anything. You can t tell them that the world is a uh, the world's a uh, flat end square. Goodbye.